This is Dr. Caldwell Miller, Dr. Miller's Guide in Neurology. We've been talking about problems you see in a private practice in neurology. Today we're going to talk about transverse myelitis. Transverse myelitis is rare, but it's fairly classic. It's a rare neurological disorder where the entire width of the spinal cord is inflamed. It can be partial or it can be complete. I uh, never will get a young lady that I saw years ago, she's like in her 30s, with acute paralysis from the neck down. Um, did an MRI and the cord looked a little swollen, what just what wasn't sure, just blasted her with steroids. There was nothing else there, and she recovered. You get weakness and numbness in your limbs and lot, lack of sensation. Um, don't, the nipple is like T4, the belly button's T10. So if someone wakes up and they're numb from their nipples down, then you want to look at the thoracic cord around T4, belly button down, look around T10. Um, Numbness and weakness of both arms, both legs, lack of motor skills, um, problem with their bladder and bowel, and they can have upper and motor neuron signs. You know, what are the causes? You know, we all think of multiple sclerosis when we see transverse myelitis, so you want to come back and do an MRI of the brain. Uh, neuromyelitis optica is a rare condition we'll talk about later. You can see with Epstein-Barr virus after mono, you can see it with herpes simplex or herpes zoster after shingles. Uh, you can see with some of the other diseases like Lyme's disease, um, cytomegalovirus, West Nile virus, mycoplasm, someone with mycoplasm pneumonia and he gets transverse myelitis, campylobacter. Um, copper deficiency after barometric surgery, so if someone has just lost a lot of weight, check their copper. So what's the treatment? Man, catch it as quick as you can and treat with IV solumedrol, high steroids, one gram for five days, followed by a big dose of prednisone, 60 to 80 milligrams, taper 10 milligrams every other day until off. Um, and then sometimes plasmapheresis, plasma exchange to remove whatever antibodies might be causing this if it's idiopathic. So that's transverse myelitis. So like, comment, subscribe. More later.